Let's see the breakfast and plus TV Africa. The African Action Congress have condemned the use of caustic and abusive, divisive and threatening words by supporters of some leading presidential candidates in the 2023 elections. The party threw a statement by its National Publicity Secretary, Femi Adeyeo, on or maintained that such use of abusive and caustic words have been heating up the polity. The party maintained that by the action of these supporters of some presidential candidate, the all-important 2023 general elections are being reduced to a regional st strife and scuffle that reeks of religion, bigotry, and ethnic jingoism. The AAC stressed it's a matter of fact that the Nigerian space has never been this polarized since it was established, no thanks to the nepotistic, clueless uh, regime uh, that has further widened the division among Nigerians through very dangerous social and economic inequalities. Now, should we as a people and the space then continue to widen the trench through divisive rhetorics of violent threats to one another, all in the name of campaign. Uh, this uh, political party and group stressed that its presidential campaign slogan, we cannot continue like this, speaks to not continuing on the path of ethno-religious division that had kept the nation on a retrogressive plane. It either that we are clearer than getting out of the quagmire and would not be through the path that brought us here in the first place. There must be a 360 uh, degree turnaround, which definitely includes the respect for all humans, ir irrespective of uh, age, social status, uh, religion, or tribe. And that's why a pan-African party, we urge our young people not to fall for the antics of the ruling elite. These people you support, even with those violent threats you used to one another have always been friends and will continue to protect their own class interests. Our party is the only party today that has put its interests first. Through our people-oriented manifesto, we continue to mobilize with, without issuing threats to anyone adherent to non-adherent. The AAC will not mute the idea of gagging anyone or group as we're firm believers in the freedom of speech and after speech. Well, the, the, the conversation might just go on and on and on, but let's quickly, uh, you know, share the thoughts of our guest this morning, Femi Adeye, who joins the conversation this morning via Zoom. It's good to have you join us. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Nigerians. All right. Well, I don't know if this used to be something that's very common, but it has actually generated a lot of concerns from different quarters. I mean, this morning, you also have the police who is saying and asking this presidential candidate, you know, to call their supporters to order. What are your thoughts? Day is not asleep, his eyes are closed. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a network issue, he's not asleep, <laughs> you know. Um, but we'll get back to him. Uh, I think he's the national publicity secretary of the of AAC mm. or the or your state public. That's something we need to clear uh, uh with him to know whether where he's where he's, he's coming from. But um, the African Action Congress, I think Messi, what he read well, was part of a statement they issued. Um, I don't know. Uh, is it there? Because some things I want to say we not sit well with him, so I have to be careful. But I, mean, I can say that I, I, I don't. I think the party maybe. I, I would like to ask him. <laughs> Let me put it down. Go, go ahead. I would like to ask him if if this isn't this is, isn't AAC uh, grasping at whatever I can grasp at to try and remain relevant in the twenty twenty three conversation because nobody is talking about AAC. No, know, no, no, but, but apart from that also. They, they, they've, they've huffed and puffed, you know, they've done everything, revolution now. It's, nobody's talking so about So you them. think that this might just be a strategy? It's, it's that's what I want to, I would like to ask him. No, no, but also. Is, is he back? But, but, he, but, but, <laughs> he's, but, he's but, back. He okay, so, so let me. Like, that Femi question, or Femi, that question. I just. <laughs> so, I mean, I you, I I'm sure you had the banter. Yeah. The, the conversation. Ah, oh, definitely. All yes, right. Yes. So is, is this AAC, AAC is looking this, for clout, okay. like our young people will say? Chasing clout. No, um, 
Yeah, no, even though I would have loved to answer that question in another way, or we go banter for banter, but I think we should not do that. Um, that would be falling for the antics of the people who want us to reduce this whole campaign, you know, to some kind of banter and um, leaving the very serious issues that should actually populate um, the 2023 campaign. So this is not AAC for clouds. It is because we understand so well that um, this is the antics of the ruling class. They are the ones who fuel this ethno-religious divisions. Um, they are friends. Uh, they don't fight. Provided their class interests are fine, they are okay. The only time them fight is when there is a share. Um... Oh my. Uh, uh, Femi, are you there? Okay. Mm, I think we're having that. Hmm. Okay. Kick so it, yes. is, it is not. Uh, it is not um, an easy for clouds thing, like you said. I, I actually do not uh, want to agree. What we are saying is very clear that we cannot continue on this path of falling every time for the antics of the ruling class. They are the ones fueling this ethno-religious uh, um, diatribes that you see on um, social media. And that is why we are cautioning Nigerians, like we have always done, even during the Revolution Now uh, protest that you had alluded to, we have always called Nigerians out to say, see, this is the path we need to move on. You cannot, we must have a 360 degree turn around. Um, so, yeah, so, will say so, so, it could be argued, it could be argued, all right, uh, by people that okay. you know, AAC is trying to remain relevant. You know, nobody's talking about AAC, AAC, in, in, AAC yeah. I'm, AAC I'm, AAC I'm just, I'm just, I'm just coming to the point. Uh, you know, no, no one is really talking yeah. about your party. Uh, in, in the 2020 conversation, in which we hardly hear, I mean, we don't have we hardly hear anything. We know those who are being talked about. Um, uh, but the AC doesn't get any coverage. Nobody is even is even mentioning your candidate. Um, and some will say, well, you've tried to be, be relevant with the Revolution Now protest. Nigerians didn't jump on it. Um, then you tried to be relevant in the NSAS protest. Your presidential candidate was booed away by the young people and asked to go back. And then in, in this current conversation, your presidential candidate has tried to tell Nigerians that they should be discussing him, not another candidate who is uh, attracting, you know, gaining some traction on social media, that he is the one they should be talking about, not that person. You know, so it's, it, it all shows a pattern of trying to, trying very hard to attract the attention and support of, of, the, of Nigerians, especially young people, and it seems not to have worked so far for your party. All right, uh, let, let me start with the last one. I did not know where you heard that. Where uh, Omar El or the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, said uh, you should be talking about him and not. Oh, oh I, I can, I can, I can send um, you the YouTube link. I, you know, it, it, it is. I even discussed it extensively. It's on the internet. Just Google it. Google it. He said. No, let, he let, said let quote, me, that, me, that people should let, talk about Peter Obi. Uh, it, sh it should be him. He is the one who's been fighting for Nigerians all this while. It's on the internet. Please go on YouTube and look for it. All right, Femi Adeyeye, do we still have you um, with us? I think it's a, it's a network, network issue. Okay. Messi, so, did you not see that, you not see that clip? I, I have he, seen a lot of things. Yeah, he said You know, I have seen a lot be, of things. You know, talking about him, not Peter Obi, that he is the one that has been fighting for, if you want to talk about those who have been laying down their lives for. And he has a point. He has a point. You know, but I'm saying that he did say that. You know, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if Femi is back. All right, so, so Femi... Okay, yes, okay, Femi, yeah, if you're back, can you speak to what I just said? Yeah. No. Yes, this is just um, our phone. We pay more for data, then we get this very bad service. Okay, so to answer your question about relevance, is to say that the African Action Congress has continued to be relevant in the lives of Nigerians, and um, if you look at what we've done from the 2019 down to this point, you will find out that we've been relevant to the date in this trouble of the Nigerian people, even when every other person were sleeping. When a left after 2019 election went to Dubai to rest, uh, we did not go to sleep. Uh, when um, the other one who happens to be the mentor, sorry, the mentee of a was keeping quiet, hiding under his bed when our presidential candidate was on the streets, you know, fighting, was arrested for five months, was detained, was scrutinized, no, and so many other things. We didn't see any of those persons. So talking about readiness is also to say that out of the 81 political parties 
that were around in 2019 that has now been reduced due to the registration that we do not uh, you know, subscribe to, we are still very much around. Out of the 18 political parties that you have now, out of the 16 political parties that are going into the elections, we are still very much around. This is a party that was just created you know, in 2018. Uh, you, want, you, don't want to, you don't want to compare it to the Labour Party that has been around since 2002, yet only you know, try to gather 5,000 votes in the 2019 elections. We went into the 2019 elections just five months old, yet we were allocated 33,000 votes. So, to tell you that <laughs> when you're talking about when you're talking about structure, talking about what we talked about, uh, the AAC should not, they cannot be shown aside by anybody uh, as of today. And also, I think the discussion about the media not talking about us, I think the journalists um, should be asked this particular question. The media blackouts they're trying to do, you know, on us, it, it should go back to the journalists. Come on, come on my brother, you are, you're, you're on national TV, you're here. You're here, you, you are here. we're talking to you. To you're accusing us of a media Why blackout. Why are you inviting people who have ideas? No, but, but you're you accusing us of a media blackout. We are talking to you. We've not even had a PDP or Labour Party spokesman on this program. You're the first. No, you, you, know? you just alluded. No, you just alluded to the fact that... No, okay, Femi Adeye, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think it's important that we stay, you know. Everybody is talking about you. All right, let's, okay, let's, so let's move on. Can we stay with on. the issue on ground now? You know, the, the issue of... Uh, well, he has, he has the question and then I respond. That's right. fantastic. Femi Adeye, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. We, we don't have so much time because uh, in no time, we'll call it a wrap right here on The Breakfast. But quickly, on the issue of... I mean, it's a good thing, be because if you look at it, no matter how you want to, you know, put it, there seem to be a lot of concern that have been raised by different quarters, including your party. I mean, we also have the police who are saying, on the one hand, we need to call, uh, you know, supporters need to call themselves. I mean, uh, presidential aspirant and those who are vying for political offices need to call their supporters together because of, you know, the throw of words and all of that. But... This will really not be the first time where you have propaganda that has been used as a tool. In 2019, very prominent was the fact that you had uh, the governor of Kaduna State, Erufai, um, describing Peter Obi as uh, a tribal bigot. That was, that was a very big one at the time. That's because Atiku Abubakar, you know, was the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. And then, of course, there was a major, so it was a combination of Alaji Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi as his running mate. And then he felt like he was a big threat to the PDP, I mean, to the APC at the time. And so this statement was actually put out, you know, to incite a certain group. Now, we also have that again as a repeat, where you have the uh, Meiti Allah saying, hey, we are asking all of the Fulanese not to vote for the person of Peter Obi. So this has been going on. It's not the first time that we're having all of this kind of comment. The polity been uh, heated up by comment and from supporters and what have you. So what is really different? Well, why are you guys uh, making a statement now? There's really nothing new. It's been going on for a while. Yes, you see, the fact that you've been doing something bad for a very long time does not mean that it should not be cautioned. And for us, you would agree with us that AC has continued to be consistent in our messaging. You know, like in that press event you read, we made it very clear that um, we are firm believers of freedom of expression. Uh, we are firm believers of freedom of expression, of speech, and even after speech. But the fact that something has been happening, you know, over time does not mean that it should not be cautioned. We've been doing that before. And that's what we are saying when we say if this is the game of the elites. It is not the ordinary man on the on the streets that is that is that will just wake up in the morning and start talking about ethnic division. The people who cook up all of these things, they are the elites. Look at what you just said about uh, Master Hero if I call him um, uh, a particular candidate um, um, ethnic bigot. It's that that's how these things start. So what we are saying is that we cannot continue like this. It's a simple slogan. And you cannot continue to divide the people along all these ethnic and religious you know, lines just to fulfill your political ambition. And that is what we are saying. So it is not something that we just woke up one morning and we are saying it. When the new issue of secession started in this country, we came up with a very bold statement asking that it is not by dividing Nigerians 
or you might in Nigeria that you will solve the problem of Nigeria. The problem of Nigeria is not about the personnel or about some geographical space. It is about changing the system. And it's not, you change that system and the personnel who are already in that system, Nigeria is not going to move forward. We were called males right. at that time. Right. Oh, you're not supporting your nation. You're not supporting IPOP. But we made it very clear that we need to bring everybody together and then we solve the problem of Nigeria. And so, that's so, what Nigeria so, so, so Femi, Femi, yeah, Femi, the problem. Yeah, of Femi, because of time, let's quickly bring this question up. Um, I looked at your statement. Uh, it didn't particularly tell us which words, which caustic yeah. words or abusive words uh, you were referring to. Which political parties or presidential candidates you were referring to uh, in terms of their supporters now being abusive? So can you come out straight and tell Nigerians which candidates are you referring to when you say they ought to caution their supporters? I, I guess you did not, uh, maybe you didn't read that part of the statement. There were examples of some of those caustic words. Um, words like, um, if you come to Lagos to campaign, or we'll see who owns, who owns Lagos. There was a particular example in that statement that we'll see who owns Lagos if you come to um, rally at Lekki. We had, you know, that, that was an example that was written in that statement. We are very straight people. We will not make words or we will not have known with the real edit because we need your votes. So we will tell you what we have to do. You know, without you know making no, um, making notes about it. We also also in that statement you find out the place where uh, we reported some of those things that are being said that uh, no ABC candidate should come down to the southeast, no person should come down to the um, to Anambra and places like that. What we are saying is that nobody, nobody has the right to determine where you rally. Nobody has the right to determine where you campaign. It is the Nigerian people who must decide how they campaign, and this campaign must be devoid of religious yeah, but, and but, 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 Femi, can, can you can you pin that's, this, that's, Femi? Can you pin this on, on the political clear, parties? You know, yeah, Femi, can you pin this these comments on the political clear, parties on their candidates? If somebody if somebody stays in his room, in yeah, Femi, if someone stays in his room and puts out such a tweet that Tinubu doesn't know who that person is, or someone says, "Don't come to the southeast." And Obi, Obi, uh, Peter Obi doesn't know who that person is. Can you pin it on them? Because all sorts of people can tweet it anything from anywhere. We don't know who they are. It is, it is clear. It is clear that the statements made it very clear that there are reports, you know, in the social media space of some of those uh, extremist rhetorics. Do you understand? And what we're saying is uh, on a general uh, view is that Nigerians should show all of these extremist rhetorics. We should stick to the issues. Nigeria today is, 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 is on the precipice. Right. And we cannot take Nigeria out of right. the precipice with all of these extremist right. rhetorics. Okay, Do you we have to go. And that is go. what the African Action Congress right. is about. It doesn't mean it's in words. Femi Adeye, thank you for joining us here, the Publicity Secretary of um, the AAC in your state, I believe. Um, and uh, we appreciate your time and, of course, uh, I find the issues uh, on the table this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, all right. That's the size of a package right here on Breakfast. It's been quite interesting uh, uh, with interesting conversations and analysis this morning. Well, that's it. If you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's fine. To follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Bobo. Have a fantastic Monday. And my name is Kofi Bartels. We'll return tomorrow. Good morning.